So the idea of this study was to look at real-life data of patients who are prescribed Synthroid or any branded levothyroxine product and ask the question, are they more likely to stay on the medication if it's branded versus generic? They um, were able to access a database that covers over 200 million lives, and out of those, we're able to pull out almost 1 million who were on some levothyroxine product, and then looked at the adherence to that prescription over the space of one year, and then separated the first looked at the group's adherence total, which really wasn't as good as you thought, that not even 60%, 59% actually continued to fill their prescription over the year. And the way they calculated adherence was basically if you got enough tablets to cover 80% of the days through the year. You know, I mean, I, I actually thought it at least would be higher in adherence because if you look at any levothyroxine product in this study, it was um, six-month adherence was 60%, 12-month adherence was 48%. So that means after a year, half the people have stopped taking it. And, and this is something we think of as a lifelong therapy and, and you know, life-saving therapy. So, and there could be a lot of reasons for people to stop taking it. Certainly there is a situation where people get started in the hospital because they have an abnormal lab test and possibly they didn't really need to take it in the first place. But I don't think that explains all the people. Um, there may be cost issues where people are just having to make a decision of what prescriptions to fill that month. Um, but when you do look at the adherence, it was actually highest for the Synthroid brand as compared to any other brand. They looked at Synthroid, Levoxyl, mm -hmm. Unithroid, Tyrosint, and Generic. So the best adherence at 6 months and 12 months was Synthroid. Second best was Levoxyl. And then um, for Tyrosint and Unithroid, it was pretty poor.